And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigley Testy here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be a Pixel Car Racer builds video, and it's going to be one of my most expensive ones yet. I've been holding back on this one for a little bit. I've been meaning to make this video, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to make it just because it's expensive. It's an expensive car to build. In game, it's going to cost you $4.6 million. To be exact, it's going to be around $4,605,720. Depends on if you buy certain things, if you change it up, and stuff like that. How I'm going to build it, it's going to be that price. So what we're going to start off with is the Dodge Charger, which is $80,000. The only thing that I'm not going to be showing you in this episode is um, the body kit. I'm not going to be building, I'm, or I'm not going to be buying that. I already own it, so I'm not going to buy it again, because it's $1.1 million in itself. So this is Dominic Toretto's charger. So let's just put D charger. Actually, you know what? Let's just put regular charger. Why not? Oh, and if you don't know who Dominic Toretto is, if you just clicked on this video, Dominic Toretto is the bald guy from Fast and Furious. You know, the one played by Vin Diesel. So parts store. Well, actually, I got to make sure I bought the right car. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. ECU, you're not going to buy one because it's going to be the stock motor, which classic motors don't have an ECU. They have a distributor, and that's pretty much it. Miscellaneous, I'm going to buy the bulbs, which you don't need to. And the lug nut cover, again, you don't need to. Nitrous, I'm going to just stick with 150 shot, even though I should buy the 200 shot, but that would have brought up the price significantly. Because 150 shot is 70000 and 200 shot is 400,000. So, you know. Livery, we're not going to need one. Same with the spoiler. The intercooler is going to be the VX R type. Just the simple one. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, the engine's going to stay. St <coughs> Ooh. The engine's going to stay stock. Um, the brakes, I'm going to get the black ones because he doesn't have red Brembos, as I know of. The exhaust is the VX Titanium R. That's 55,000. The rims, or the wheels, whatever you want to call them. The U.S. racing ones, which are 11500 There it is. There they are. Sorry about that little bit of silence. Suspension. He doesn't have much of a lower suspension, so I just bought the one-inch drop, which is this one. I didn't want to go... Well, I could have actually bought all these other ones. That's a two-inch. I just wanted a one inch drop just to stiffen it up a little bit. Uh, the tires, we're going we're gonna to want the... Why am I going here? Tires, we're going to want the drag slick large. The drag slicks large. Because if you get the regular drag slicks, the tire width, you know, between the wheel and the top of the tire, it's not thick enough, you know, to actually fit the build. This one really isn't quite as thick as it should be, but... It's the best one that you can buy. This is going to be where most of that million dollar price tag is coming from. This three million dollar blower. I went with the chrome one. You can go with the black one. They're both the same price. But the one he has is chrome. Sorry, I had to fix something on my laptop real quick. That's three million dollars. That's going to set you back three million. That's most of the price. And then for this one, you're going to want the... If I can get to it, the Mr. Gas Scoop. It's the closest one to it. It's even got the red circles. It's got the little shell housing. The pistons, I'm going to go with the VX Supremes. Not the Supreme Plus, because again, that's a drastic price change for 10 horsepower. And just the stock motor in itself. With the blower and the intake, it already reaches 1500 So this thing is going to be insane. The body kit. The pan you're going to need the Pandem kit, the $1.1 million one, but only for the front end, because in-game, you can buy the 69 Charger, the 1969 Charger. He drives a 1970. As you're going to see in a minute, it has a slight bit of a front-end difference. If you want to go Google it now, go Google 1969 Dodge Charger, <clears throat> and then in another tab, 1970, and you'll see the difference. See the difference in the front end. 
I don't know why my voice keeps going weird. It sounds like it's going lower. So all these coughs are not me being sick. They're me clearing my throat. Because it just feels weird. I don't know why. So we're going to need the Pride, Pl Pride Pro with a black cage. And then the paint, we're going to need the black one, which is $1,300. So there we go, that is $4,605,720. Now let's get to building. First, let me show you, actually, let me paint it first. Then let me show you the front end. So look at the front, look at the front end. Now it's, a, it's pretty wide, right? And see how it just gets thinner in the front? Yeah, that little, that little rectangular part at the very end is supposed to be chrome, but that's the best I can do in this game. But that's all you're going to need the Pandem kit for. If you don't want it to be that specific, then you don't need to add it. But I did just to be <clears throat> accurate. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know why my voice is acting up all of a sudden. It was fine ten minutes ago. I already did the kit and the paint. And then I just did the seats. Engine's gonna stay stuck. See how the tire looks really thin right there? And it gets kind of thicker, but not perfect. Now see, he doesn't have much of a lowering. He doesn't lower it much. I mean, it's still on leaf springs, which is a classic muscle car thing. Or classic car thing in general. But it's still on leaf springs. So, his suspension is like really tall. ECU, we're not going to need one. The pistons, we're going to add those. Which actually, did you know that the piston is only the top part? And the rod is not even part of the piston? The piston is only the top part. The connecting rod, the rod that you usually... You know, the one that... The little stick part at the bottom there? That's its own thing. It's not technically a part of the piston. It's the movement for the piston. The piston's only the little capping part. And sorry about that little bit of a silence. I was getting a drink of my soda. Hopefully that clears my throat. Or helps with the throat issue when I'm talking. Which, by the way, Diet Shasta. Shasta, please sponsor me because I buy a lot of your products. You know, if I say it enough, it might come true. It says right here I'm making 22-14. So let me just write that down real quick. Let's see what the dino says. Oh, that's insane. This thing's gonna be crazy. Alright, it says it said twenty two fourteen earlier, now it's seventeen thirteen. So let me just do the math real quick. Uh I'll be right back. That's 501 horsepower difference. I'm going to go do that again off camera. I'll be right back to make sure it is correct. Yeah, it was correct. It says 1713. That's 501 horsepower lost. Uh, give me one i I'm sorry for all the pauses all of a sudden. Give me one second while I go check something real quick. I thought I heard a noise. Alright, so let's get to the drag strip where this thing really shines. Just listen to that thing idle real quick. It's got that classic muscle car sound and I love it. Oh, by the way, the reason I didn't put the Hellcat engine into it was because it wouldn't be it wouldn't have been accurate, even though it is technically a modified engine in the game in the movie. Um, even though it is technically not the stock engine, uh, it's still a Dodge engine. And the only other Dodge engine was the Hellcat engine. And they didn't even have a Charger back in 2001, let alone a Hellcat. I think the fastest thing around that time was the LS Camaro, or the Mustang. 
Ooh, I gotta fix the I gotta fix the launch on this thing. Cause this thing revs up high. The gearing is terrible in this. It's still an eight second car though. Well let's see if I can let's see if I can get a better launch. Because I don't feel like tuning because Honestly, I don't want you to copy my tune and then, you know, it be a pile of dog doodles. I'm showing you what parts you need, not what tune, because I could put a tune, it could be the worst one. That supercharger is loud. Eight point six second quarter mile at one hundred fifty four miles per hour. This is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting one. Let's take this on the street, just a street drag race, as this thing would be, since it's not a mountain toge. A toge is a race in the mountain against a Mustang. This is an all American muscle car street race. Right here, muscle car versus muscle car, going down the road in a straight line. This is some two lane blacktop stuff right here, but it's three lanes. Ooh, it's... You can't let them behind you because then they'll get some kind of draft no matter how far ahead you are or how far behind they are. Oh, and nitrous regenerates, so you could also use that a bunch of times. I got to 202, 203, 24. I was actually getting hot there at the end of the at the end of the race, kind of like how he almost blew up his. No, I think he blew up his engine at the end of uh, the first of Fast and Furious. Let's do that race one more time, see if I can actually blow my engine at the end of the race. See if it's possible. Nope. Ooh, actually we're going against an Impreza. I mean, still cool. Still JDM technique. Well, I mean, yeah, it is JDM since you can't tell which side the steering wheel's on. I'm gonna save the rest of the nitrous for the end of the race when it starts getting a little hot. Because it, if you look right underneath the booth, booth gauge, the boost gauge, sorry, I turned into Mike Tyson for a second. If you look underneath the boost gauge, it'll tell you when it get, starts getting hot. There we go, now let's use the nitrous. It got hot, it didn't blow, but it's whatever. Let's do another quarter mile just to get that extra, just to level up. Actually, you know what? Do I get a chest if I level up? Nah. Nah, yeah, let's still do a quarter mile. Why not? This thing is just a quarter mile machine, so why not take it on a quarter mile a bunch of times? The game actually launched an all-wheel drive car really good for once. This game never launches all-wheel drive correctly. Eight point seven, still, still really good. Um, I'm only at four, fifteen minutes. Street. Let's go do burnouts. That's always a good idea. Let's go do burnouts.
Let's go do nitrous burnouts. I don't want to get too too fast because there's a cop up ahead. And I don't want to set him off. Actually, you know what? Now I don't have to pass him because I'm going up here to go do burnouts. So what you do, clutch, gas, rev it up. That's how you'd normally do uh, two-step if you have it set up. I don't. And you just drop the clutch, wait for it to spin a bit, and then hit the brake. I'm going to hit the NOS. And just do nitrous burnouts until this engine explodes. Nice, and so far it's getting really hot. Wait for the check engine light to come on. Engine damage, keep going. Nope. Alright, engine's blown. Let's end this video. Which, by the way, the engine's still good. It was just blown for that little street section. Like, it'll still... It's, it's still good right now, is what I'm saying. I'm not gonna put it on the dyno just to show you. But, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Also in the comments, tell me questions, comment... Why do I keep saying that? Talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and all-around good replies to positive, supportive, and all-around good comments. But, but I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite mean and, all about, and I'm all about spreading positivity. I'm trying to talk too fast, and I currently have midnight brain, so bear with me. If you want some more positive content, go to my Twitter. You'll find some positive stuff right there. You're going to really like it. Uh, above that, two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself for the channel, so go follow that if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel. Uh, Instagram number two is automotive-based one. If you're on this channel, you're going to like that one, so go follow it. And, well, I mean, you're going to you're gonna find a lot of content that you really like. And hopefully you like a lot of it and do hit that follow button. And speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and notify when I post videos. I post every other day, but notice it's out, so that's what, you can need the bell that's what you're going to need the bell icon for. I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.